And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move could be your last. High Rollers! And now, here's the man with all the action, your host of High Rollers, Brandon Scrub! Thank you all so much, and hello, folks. Welcome in to another edition of High Rollers right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be with us once again. Uh, we are back here with the dice loaded and ready for another great game here. And we've got our returning champion back with us, who's back to try to win a whole lot more money. So let's meet our players for our first game up today. Our, starting with our returning champion, who's back with us after four wins so far this season. Four wins in this run, and he's got a grand total of 308 thousand nine hundred and eighty six dollars please welcome back equals peach brandon should i be concerned that the dice are loaded no i didn't mean it necessarily the dice are loaded they're checked by standards and practices now like i meant they're loaded with a bunch of numbers in the case of hopefully they're the numbers we need to give away the big money tonight i see am i gonna roll craps every damn time no you shouldn't if you do i'm changing okay, the good. dice to make sure that, that doesn't happen but we well, welcome back though thank you over three hundred and eight thousand dollars in your run here as champion, and most important one is if you win today, or if you win this first game here, that's five in a row, and that automatically is going to qualify you for a spot in our tournament of champions at the end of the season. Are you nervous yeah, about the game? I... Are you nervous? Are you nervous about the game? No, not at all. Not at all. You've got complete confidence. You can you can win this. I'm just here to have a good time. All right, well, well, hopefully you are having a good time, and let's hopefully our challenger will have a good time here with us as we, he plays for the first time this season. Please welcome in, coming by way of Inkster, Michigan, this is uh, Lawrence McNeil. Hello. Welcome aboard, sir. Remind the folks at home a little bit about you that they, they might need to know. 27, hoping to start YouTube and do my own little game show thing, but for the time being, Still a part-time cashier at a nearby drift store in my spare time. Force impressions here and there. And play guitar and uh, love watching and playing game shows here. And that's why I'm here. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Glad you are here. Welcome aboard. Good luck to you both. Thank you guys you. know how the game works, but mind you, simple for the folks at home who may be new to this, uh, the objective here is to roll... Roll our dice and remove the numbers off the board in order to win prizes from the three columns we have up there. Be the first person to clear the board or force your opponent to roll a bad number, you win a round. We play best two out of three, and winner goes on to the bonus game for the big numbers for a shot at $100,000. So with that said, we let's go ahead and set the board up for game number one by loading in some prizes on the board. Starting first in column one, we have the trip to Venice. We have the Ooh. sauna, we have the 32-inch outdoor LCD HDTV, and we have a set of power tools and workbenches, and a living room group with a 40-inch 3D TV and a year of Netflix included, making column one for this first game $25,219. In column two, we have the Mitsubishi Ooh. Outlander Sport ES. We got a car up there, folks. $21,370 there. Ooh. And that is the prize for column two. In column three, we still have the Mazda 2 Sport that we've not given away. The 50-inch plasma TV, the refrigerator, the bedroom group, and ear readers, and the trip to Vegas. A fully loaded column in column three for 36042 and a board value for game one of $83,071. Lots of cash and prizes to be won up there. Let's see if the numbers line up just as nice. Let's load them in for game one. And there it is, and it looks like column number two is our hot column for the game. A roll of 12 will get you a brand new car, just like that. And it'll also get you your hot column bonus of $5,000, and that's guaranteed money no matter what happens the rest of the game. So, good luck to both of you. Uh, hands on buzzers, and we will get started with this first question here on High Rollers. It has whiskers, it drinks milk, or it purrs. Lawrence. Cat. Uh, the question was, why is a catfish called a catfish? 
It's because it has whiskers on it. So, ah, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, Jumped in early there. It's going to cost you on that one. And, um, okay. Peach, you get first crack of the dice today. Well, thank you, Lawrence. All right, come on, cool. boxcars. <laughs> and you got yourself an eight. How you want to play it? I will do the eight by itself. All right, hard eight comes off the board. Now, opening up a roll of ten to clear column number two. Uh, column number one, excuse me. Here's your next question. Fifteen, twenty, or twenty-one? What's the total number of spots on one single... Twenty-one. Peach. One single die. Twenty-one is correct, Peach. You got it. All right. You got control. All rolls are good. So go ahead and give it a roll. All right. Thank you. How about we get box cars now? There you go. Not box cars. You got snake eyes oh. instead for a two. All right. Two by itself. All right. Gives you the insurance marker, which will protect you from a bad roll. And the two comes off the board. Now it's getting rid of the hot column, but now only needing a ten will clear either column one or column two. Here's your next one. Drinking, traveling, or reading. A bibliophile is someone who... Peach? They enjoy reading. Enjoys what activity? Reading is correct. You got it. All right, Peach. Technically, no rolls up there are going to cost you the game, so go ahead and give it a roll. All right. Now I don't care what I roll. I'll take anything. Yeah. And you got yourself a nine. Okay, nine by itself. All right, nine by itself. That opens up a roll of six now to clear column number three. Next question. Erie, Superior, or Tahoe? Which of the following is not one of the Great Lakes? Peach. Tahoe. Yeah, Tahoe's not a Great Lake. You're right. It's a nice place to visit, but it's not considered one of the Great Lakes. So you've got control of the dice again, and essentially all rolls still good. All right, I like that. Yeah. <coughs> and you got an 11. Okay. How about... I'm going to do 6, 4, and 1. All right. 6, the 4, and the 1 all come off the board. And you just cleared call number 2. You got a car. All right. That Mitsubishi is on your side of the board. You can win it should you manage to win the round. That leaves now a roll... A roll of 10 to clear column 1. 5 will clear column 3. Here's your next question. Oscars, Globes, or Tonys? By what name are the Academy Awards also? Peach. The Oscars. Yeah, also known as the Oscars is correct. All right, Peach, good rolls. 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 12. Would you like to roll or pass? Mm. Good question. You know, with that insurance marker, I'm just going to go for it. Going to go for it? All right. There's All right. the dice. I hope it works out, man. Seven and eight, most common rolls. I feel like I can do it. Oh, and you got a nine. Mm. Bad roll, so I'm going to take your insurance marker and ask you to roll again. Yeah, yeah. How about this time? It's a five. Five by itself. Five by itself comes off the board, and you clear column three. All right, Peach is now in possession of two cars. Can he keep hold of both of them? We'll see here in a moment. Good rolls now, three, seven, and ten, all that remain. So control, very important. Here's your next question. George Gershwin, Oscar Hammerstein, or Francis Scott Key? Who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Peach. Francis Scott Key. And that is correct. All right, Peach, choice is yours. Lawrence can have him this time. All right, pass him. All right, Lawrence, a three or a seven yeah. keeps you in the game. However, if you roll a 10, you clear the board, and you'll win game number one. Okay, doubles to at least help. 10 for a comeback. Will it happen? Rolls and gets a five. Oh, Bad roll, and oh. Peach gets game one. Wow. Very nice there on the board for you. $57,852. Two vehicles. Great set of prizes. You're already a big winner today, and you're now one game away from qualifying for the Tournament of Champions. Let's see if you can do it here as we clear the board and we go into game number two and reload some prizes up there. So let's see what we're adding up there. Column one, 
It's going to be the same five prizes we have there because it's all maxed out. Can't add any more to it. Oh, column one again worth $25,219. The other two columns we're going to start off with fresh prizes. Starting first in column two with an 82 inch TV worth $4,500. Very nice prize there. And finally, column three, we have a trip to Mazatlan worth $3,750. And that makes okay. our total board value for this game $33,468. All right. Board is loaded. Now all we need now is some numbers. <coughs> and sadly, no hot column. Oh. Oh. All right. No hot column bonus up for grabs. But again, this game is very important to Lawrence. He needs it to catch up. Peach needs it to move on to the Tournament of Champions. And... Go on to the big numbers today. Here's your first question. Bonnie and Clyde, Romeo and Juliet, or Sonny and Cher? Mr. Montague and Miss Capulet, Peach? Romeo and Juliet. Are better known by what names? Romeo and Juliet is correct. All right, dice are yours, and you get the first roll of the second match. All right. Come on, big numbers. Let's go. And you got yourself an 11. Okay. How about nine and two? Nine and two both come off the board. And that leaves now a roll of ten again for column one, and a roll of eleven will clear column three. Here's your next question. Berlin Wall, the Wailing Wall, or the Great Wall of China? Which famous wall went up in 1960? Lawrence. Uh... B. I, I, I don't remember the exact name, but B. The Wailing Wall is incorrect. Uh, full question was, which famous wall went up in 1961 and came down in 1989? That would be the, the Berlin, Berlin wall. wall. The Berlin yeah. Wall. Mm -hmm. looking for. All right. And Peach, again, no numbers hurt you, so <coughs> go ahead and give it a roll. All right. How about Snake Eyes just for shiggles? And how about a double four? Two I'll take that. For four. Let's do four by itself. Yeah, I was about to say that's well, not I was gonna say it was your only option, but no, you have two ways to do it, and you took the four. There it goes. That leaves now a roll of nine. We'll clear column number two. Here's your next question. Playhouse, fun house, or madhouse. What was the name of Pee Wee Herman's Lawrence? Playhouse. Saturday morning TV show, it was Pee Wee's Playhouse. You're correct. <laughs> All right, you get control of the dice because no numbers hurt you. So go ahead and give it a roll. Okay. Let's roll it. And a double for you. Okay. Insurance marker for Lawrence, and you've got a 10. How would you like to play it? Seven and three. Clear right. column one. That makes sense. The most col expensive column up there is now yours. Yay. All right. <laughs> All right, again, you only get to keep those prizes should you win the round. So we have one, six, eight, and five left up on the board. And here's your next question. Bury it, wear it, or eat it. What would you do with a truffle? Lawrence. Eat it. Yes, type of mushroom. You're correct. All right, sir. Um, bad rolls for you are three, four, and ten. Would you like to roll or pass? Let's take a chance and roll. All right. You got to have an insurance marker. Yep. I got insurance oh, markers, so and that will protect me at least for one roll. Let's go. And rolls a nine. Eight and one. That gets rid of column number two. You got it. Oh, my word. Lawrence, just one column away from cle clearing the entire board from prizes here. A six and a five, all that remains, players. So here we go with your next question. Other insects, wheat, or wood? What are termites noted for eating? Lawrence. Wood. Wood is correct. You got it. All right, sir. Five, six, and 11 are the only good rolls left. Would you like to roll it or pass? Mind you, both have an insurance mark. Here you go, Peach. All right, Peach. All right. Roll me an 11, sir. You clear the board. You win the game and the match, and you're going to the big numbers. Good luck to you. Well, I'll give it my best shot. Come on, lucky numbers. Don't fail me now. 
Rolls and gets a seven. That's a bad roll. I'll take your insurance right. marker and ask you to roll again. All right, let's try this again. Now. It's a six. The game continues. Okay. Oh, six oh. by itself. Six My comes word. off the board, and <laughs> we're down to one number left. So this is going to be the last question of this round. Hands on buzzers, players. Here it comes. Good wire. Grass, sand, or snow? On what surface does a toboggan usually track? Lawrence. Uh, snow? Snow is correct. Oh. Hey. <sighs> Just barely beat me to the buzzer and got it. Nice. All right. You've got control, Lawrence. A five is all that's left. You want to roll it or pass it? There you go, Peach. All right, Peach. One shot. Roll me a five. And game is yours. You're moving on to the big numbers. All right, we got a game. It's a five. He's got it. Oh, Peach wins the game. Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. But good Lord. One GG, shot. He needed it. He got well, it. I have seen this before. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Peach. Thank you are you. going back to the big numbers. <sighs> Oh, oh, Lawrence, no. I can't say that you didn't come in here and give Peach an effort of trying there, but it just didn't right. quite work out for you. Did you have fun, though, playing? Oh, I definitely have fun playing, and, and man, that was a comeback that, that, that honestly, I kind of saw come from my way, but good Lord, and well, well, hey, I'll be back on later in the season, but good game, Peach. That was really good game, Lawrence. That was really good. I think you will for sure. So congratulations to you. Not going home empty-handed. We've got $500 for you, courtesy, courtesy of us here. Thank you so much for playing. We'll hopefully have you back later this season, all right? Italy. And Peach, wow. What what can I say other than just I'm impressed? Like, the luck of the dice was definitely on your side on that one. How are we feeling right now? No kidding, Brandon. That was, like, one heck of a game. All told, especially uh, towards the later part of it. Just the fact that I got that lucky is amazing to me. Yeah. Well, it worked out for you in your favor, sir. And you did. definitely that have did. cleared the board here. And you've picked up another $61,602 in prizes. And when we add that to your previous winnings, sir, you now have a five-game win winnings of $370,588. And more importantly, too, you've also qualified for our Tournament of Champions at the end of the season, so we'll look forward to you there. So now, when you lose at this point, it will be your last chance to play between now and that said tournament. But the important thing is you're still champion. You're going to play on till you lose at this point. So we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break of the day. Pause for the cause. Come back and see if you can't give them another $100,000 when you play the big numbers right after this here on High Rollers. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Our champion Peach now is with a spot in the Tournament of the Champions guaranteed. He's got $370,588, and now is your chance to play the big numbers for $100,000. You know how this works. You're going to roll the golden dice here. Every number you remove off the big game board is going to get you $1,000. Get me all nine, however. I'm going to give you another $100,000, sir. You managed to do it twice. Let's see if three times is just as nice. Good luck to you. Here's the golden yep. dice for you, and when you're ready, start rolling. Good luck. And wouldn't that be something? Mm-hmm. I've already, I've already got some like tax money to pay for those cars that I just won, so that's nice. And we'll start you off with a seven. All right. We were just talking about that seven by itself. Yep. Seven comes off. You got yourself a thousand dollars. Roll again. Rolls and gets a nine. All right. Nine by itself. Nine comes off, and you've got yourself $2,000. All right. Let's try to get some big numbers here. See if we can get rid of that one. And you got yourself another seven. Okay. Just called it six and one. Six and one both come off the board. You've doubled up. You've got $4,000. All right. 
Whew. Now I'd like to get some doubles. Wouldn't that be something? Asking and roll is... Asking you shall receive. You get it. Deuce. Insurance marker for you. And the two comes off the board. It's the only way you can remove it. You're up to uh, $5,000. Excuse me. All right. Let's do that again. Rolls again and gets a six, which is a Ooh. bad roll. Unfortunately, we we'll take that insurance marker back from you, sir. You must avoid a six or ten to stay in the game. All right, I've got so many numbers. Don't don't betray me now. Come on. Roll is a seven. Three and four. Yep, that's the only one they come off, and you're up to seven thousand dollars, sir. You have All a right. five and an eight now. You have no insurance markers, so you need to try to see if you can't right. roll that double eight to give yourself a chance at it. Good luck. Best roll right now, I think, would be double four. Come on, double four. That's oh. a nine. Bad roll, sir. Oh, Dang it. Tough break there, man. But, hey, you cannot be ashamed of that. Seven numbers off the board gets you an additional $7,000. Added to what you've won previously here on our program, brings you now up to a five-game cash and prizes totaling $377,588. And the best part about that is, too, is you could, you're still, you stay on as champion now, and we're going to see who his next opponent's going to be on the other side of the break. We'll come back with more high rolls right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here with Peach. Now over the $370,000 mark as he continues his run here as champion. And we're going to see if he can add to it as he takes on his new competitor now. Please welcome in Mr. Michael Bombardier. Hello, Brandon. Welcome to High Rollers, sir. Am I the good folks at home a little bit about yourself? Certainly. I am from Buffalo, New York. I am still a, a dairy frozen associate by day. Most Well, in most of the days, but I do it part time mm -hmm. uh, every Thursday night. However, I co host the Ran Race podcast. And recently, we just got done uh, interviewing the, the current TNA world champion, Moose. And that was a really awesome experience to interview a current world champion. Yeah, that's great. I like seeing hearing them do interviews all the time. Love to hear it and love to hear more uh, about. That is, we get along. But you ready to play? So ready. Fantastic. Let's get to it and let's load up the board for some great prizes here. Starting first off in column number one, we have it. We have the pri same prizes up there because we've not gotten rid of them. The trip to Venice, the outdoor sauna, the TV, the power tools, the workbenches, and the living room group. Again, that column's worth twenty-five thousand two hundred nineteen dollars. In column number two. We have the 82-inch television, and to go with that, we have a brand-new kitchen worth $6,876, making that column now up to $11,375. And finally, for column three, to go with the, we have a smartphone plus one year of service there worth $1,440, and that's the value for column three, and a board value in game one here of $38,034. All right, prizes are loaded in. Now we need to load in the numbers. And looks like no hot column for this one. Aww. All right, no hot Sad column face. bonus up for grab again. So we will continue on. Uh, good luck to you both. Hands on buzzers. Here is your <coughs> first question. Crepe, croissant, or cassoulet? What is the French word for a very thin pancake? Peach. I believe that's a crepe. A crepe is cor correct. You've got control of the dice, and first roll of this match is yours. All right, let's do it to it. And you got yourself a 10. Okay. How about nine and one? The nine and the one both come off the board. There we go. They've been now a roll of eight to clear column number three. Here's your next one. New York City, Philadelphia, or Atlantic City? Which city streets were used for the Peach? Atlantic City. 
were used for the first edition of Monopoly. Atlantic City is correct. All right, dice are yours, and all rolls are good. All right. Another big roll. I like that. Now. Got yourself a three. Oh, okay. I will do the three by itself. Yep, only way it comes off the board. That leaves now another roll of five to clear call the number three. And our only bad roll is now a three. Here's your next question. Cincinnati, Philadelphia, or Chicago? What is the hometown of the actor Sylvester Stallone? And that's Michael. I'm thinking it's Cincinnati. No, I'm sorry. The full question was, what's the hometown of actor Sylvester Stallone and his character Rocky? He's actually from Philadelphia. He's from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. there, so. Didn't work now. All right, Peach, you got control, sir. The only bad roll for you is a three. Would you like to roll a pass? All right. Well, I just rolled it, so I'm going to play it again. Okay. Hope it doesn't happen again. All yours. <laughs> yeah. Roll in is an eight. Ooh, okay. A couple options. Eight there. by itself. All right, eight by itself comes off the board. There's now a roll of four to clear the most expensive column on the board. Here's your next question. Chocolate, caramel, or marshmallow? Which ingredient is crucial for making the original Kellogg's Rice Krispies treat? Peach. Marshmallow. Marshmallow is correct. Again, the only I'll bad roll. I'll take the dice again. All right. All yours. Have at it. All right. Thank you. Now. And we roll a nine. Ooh, four and five. Four and five both come off the board, and you just cleared two columns, sir. Yes. Very nice. Almost $28,000 worth of prizes on your side of the board, and they again can be yours should you win the round. Seven center columns, all that's left. The two, the seven, and the six remain. Here's your next question. Four, ten, or seven. How many stars are there in the Big Dipper? Peach. Um, seven. Seven is correct. All right. You see the I'm good rolls? I'm going to pass the dice this time. All right, going to pass it. All right, oh, thank geez. you. First chance for you to roll here, sir. You need a two, six, seven, eight, or nine to keep it alive. Otherwise, Peach takes game one. Well, there are some numbers that can give me an insurance marker, so let's do it. Let's roll. It is a six. There you go. Number six, please. All right, so it comes off the board. And now a roll of nine will clear the board and give you game one. So control, very important. Here comes the next question. Hello, I love you, or goodbye. What does a Spaniard mean by the word adios? Oh, goodbye. Goodbye is correct. <laughs> Each your option. I hate to do this, but I'm actually going to have Michael say hola to the dice. All right, Mikey. And yet I was in Mexico eight years ago. Dang it. Well, two or seven will keep you alive. However, a nine will clear the board and give you game one. Good luck to you. Oh. Come on. Give me that time. Well, and is a seven. Keeps you alive. Oh, my goodness. Take the seven off the board, and that leaves just the little two <laughs> up on the board. I can hear I can hear Richard and Jason off yet, in, the, in the distance. I know. I see. All right. Final question of this, rant, of this game here, players. Here it is. Black, green, or red? If someone is envious. Peach. They are said to be green. They are green with envy. You're correct. I knew that. Michael? All yours. All right. Oh, I knew that question, too. One out of 36 chance, sir. Roll me that snake eyes. You take game one. Otherwise, it goes to the champ. Good luck. Oh, he might as well just take 26 grand already. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know that. Here's your 26 grand. That's a seven, and Peach takes game one. Yeah, I'll say this much. It is, ne it is yeah. never over until the dice have rolled. 
and have come to a complete stop at this point. But Peach, congratulations, $26,659 more to your winnings. But again, it takes two games to win a match. So, Micah, you got a chance to get back in here. So let's get to it by loading up the prizes for game number two of this matchup. Starting in column one, we start with a billiards table there. That's worth $1,300. In column two, we go with the TV and the kitchen. We're now adding a Hyundai Elantra. We got another car on the board. Thank you. For $18,534, right? Making it worth now $29,909. And in column three, we'll start with a new prize there. It's a scooter worth just under $3,000. And our board value for game two is $34,208. All right. There's the prizes. Now for some numbers. Seamus, if you please. And we have a hot column. Column one. Nice. Get you the prize there worth $1,300, plus, again, an additional $5,000 in guaranteed bonus money. So let's see what happens. Mikey going to catch up. Peach going for the match. And another shot at the big numbers. Here we go. First question. Seven, eight, or ten. How many times is La sung after Fa in the Christmas song Deck the Halls? Peach. Eight. Eight is correct. <laughs> My question is, did you have to sing it in your head to count it? Yes, I did. No shame in that. At least you knew it. You got it right, and you've got the dice. I'm good at counting. It's kind of part of my job. Anyway. <laughs> and you got yourself an eight. Speaking okay. of eights. Ah, I see what you did there. Eight by itself. All right. Eight comes off the board, and that, again, leaves ten for column three. That seven and three have been traveling a lot together today. Here's your next question. Swedes? Cougarettes or parsnips? What do the British call zucchini? Michael. Uh, parsnips? No, believe it or not, they call them cougarettes or courgettes. It might be pronounced that way too. It's hard to tell with the card here. But yeah, courgettes is what they, I guess they call them. Although I like cougarettes better. I think it sounds funny. Um, Congrats. Peach, you've you got mean. control of the dice, and all rolls are good. All right. How about a 10 right now? And you've got a 9. Ooh, one off. All right, 9 by itself. All right, 9 comes off the board. And that leaves now a roll of 6 to clear column number 3. Here's your next question. Brazil, pistachio, or pecan? Which nut is obtained from the Native American hickory tree? That's Michael. Pistachio. No, it's the pecan. The pecan comes from the hickory tree there. Sorry about that. Right. Peach, you've got control again, and all rolls are good. All right. Yeah. Roll is a five. Ooh, okay. Five by itself. All right, five comes off the board. All right, all rolls still good. Here's your next question. Casablanca, The Road to Mandalay, or Gone with the Wind? Which movie featuring Vivian Leigh won the 1939 Oscar for Best Picture? Peach. Gone with the Wind? Gone with the Wind is correct. Uh. And I realize I butchered her last name. It's Vivian Lee there. I'm sorry. But I read it as Leigh initially. But Leigh is He's correct. Okay. Leigh is correct. And you've got control of the dice still. All rolls are still good. All right, we've been doing it. Let's do it now. As a box car for 12. All right. How about seven, three, two? All right, seven, the three, and the two all come off the board. And you got call number three. Sorry, call number two. Excuse me. Word, numbers, pronunciations can't today. That's just where I'm at at this point. Sometimes it'd just be one of those days. It is. $29,000 on your side of the lectern, but again, only yours should you win the round. Good rolls now. 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. So here comes your next question. Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise, or Robin Williams? 
Who played the housekeeper, Mrs. Doubtfire? Peach. Robin Williams. And the movie of the same name, Robin Williams is correct. You are kidding me. You've got it. And uh, what would you like to do, sir? Bad rolls for you are three, eight, and nine. Oh. Okay. Uh, You know, I'm going to give this to Michael. All right. Mikey, over to you, sir. So you're saying you're Travis Coulter's long-lost brother. Okay. <laughs> Michael, I will say this much. If you can roll me an 11, you will clear the board and tie up the match. <laughs> Rolls a 10. Oh. And unfortunately, that... You are is, kidding me! That is going to give you the 6 and 4, and that's unfortunately going to orphan the 1. And that's going to give the game and match to Peach. No, you are kidding me with that second die. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. In this game, folks, wow. at home, if you leave the one as the lonely number left on the board, you, know, you automatically lose and it goes to your opponent. So, Peach, congratulations. You are going back to the big numbers once again. Yeah, had a 12 and you could have knocked it off yourself. Robert, move. Yeah, I could have, should have, would have. But decided not to, so that was the case here. Mikey, thanks for playing. We do have some nice parting gifts for you, along with five hundred dollars courtesy of High Rollers. So thank you, sir. Sorry. Uh, Nels gave me that rack. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll let you let you guys sort that out. But for now, Peach, another fifty-six thousand five hundred sixty-eight dollars for you. Add that to your winning, sir. Grand total now is $434,156 cash and prizes. And we're going to see if Peach is able to maybe take home another $100,000 when he tackles the big numbers. We'll do that right on the side of the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Our champion, Peach, finds a way to keep on winning here. He's got himself now over $434,000 of cash prizes, and he has another chance here to win the big money here on the big numbers. So without any hesitation or further ado, here's the golden dice. Good luck to you. Go get that money. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah. First roll up is a five. Okay, five by itself. I believe that was one of the ones you left off last time, so we're starting to get rid of the hard one out of the way first. So you got $1,000. Roll again. All right. Roll and a nine. Nine by itself. I got the Dolly Parton numbers out of the way. $2,000. First the nine to five. Yeah. Next roll is another nine. Okay. Uh, we'll do eight and one now. Eight and one. Eight and one coming off the board. Not eighty-one. Yep, up to four. Yep, up to four thousand. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Rolls and a nine again. Okay. We're going to do a two and a seven. All right, two and seven both come off the board, and you're up to six thousand dollars. <laughs> Three numbers remain. Okay, come on, one of those, one of those good numbers. I'd like another double. Well, that would be nice. Come on. Rolls and a oh, five. Oh. Bad roll there. I'm sorry. Uh, tough break there, Peach. But hey, six more numbers there is another six thousand dollars added to what you've won previously. Gives you now a six game cash and prizes totaling four hundred and forty thousand one hundred fifty six dollars. Not too shabby, sir, if I say as much. And best part again, you're still champion, so that means you get to keep on playing till you lose at this point. How long can Peach's streak last? Well, you'll have to tune in next time to find out because we're out of time for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like, want to see more High Rollers, check out the first season we've done here on the channel. Or if you like any of the great game show games we've done here, the past, present, and future, Click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. But in the meantime, between time, y'all take care of yourselves and 
from all of us here, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying we'll see you next time right here for some more eye rollers. So then, so long, everybody.